Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a very busy Tuesday night, and we begin tonight with the headline that broke late today, and sadly, it is a familiar one. A school shooting, multiple injuries, this time outside Denver, and what is somewhat different about this case so far, there were two shooting suspects. A barrage of gunshots reported at a public charter school near the end of the school day, triggering a massive show of force tonight. Police, the ATF, the FBI... Officers taking two suspects into custody. Several people have been rushed to area hospitals tonight. And parents gathering a mile away, waiting for word on their loved ones. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, has late reporting tonight and the images coming in now. Tonight, terror in that STEM school outside Denver. An army of law enforcement officers descending on the scene after gunfire erupted just after lunchtime. As officers were arriving at the school, they could still hear gunshots and as they were entering the school. The school of over 1,800 students immediately put on lockdown. And tonight we learn that one of those students has died, seven others wounded. One sixth grader describing the scene. I was doing work in the study hall and then I see just a bunch of kids running out and saying, school shooter, school shooter, and I'm like, what, what, is this real or fake? And then I just go after them. Some students running, others loaded into buses. Anguish etched onto parents' faces. I, I just want to get to my son and hold him and get him make sure he's okay, he's terrified. Officers on the hunt for shooters. According to the first shooter, Second shooter still on the loose. Dark hair in Nirvana hoodie. Second shooter has purple and blue hair, black hoodie. And then word two suspects apprehended, both of them students. We got two in custody now, and we're putting together a couple rescue teams. Officers going floor by floor through the large school as parents waited for word. Lots of cars, lots of police and ambulances are all in there. My third grade daughter is still in there. Um, my sixth grader did get out. Give me your name, I can walk and ask. Within hours, those tearful reunions. Parents running to their children, hugging each other in relief. So let's bring in Matt Gutman with us live tonight. Matt, police were there within minutes, as you reported, and quickly apprehending those suspects. That's right. And despite those shots being fired, they ran right into the school and found those suspects immediately taking them in alive. But, David, that school was so large that it took officers and SWAT teams two hours to clear the entire thing and declare that lockdown over. David. Matt Gutman leading us off tonight on this fast-moving story. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.